Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor, and I wanted to feature an asset where you can get some text effects for Text Mesh Pro for absolutely free. And you can check it out from this awesome developer's GitHub page. You can navigate to, I won't try and pronounce this name, and easy text effects from Unity. And if you scroll down these page, you can see the awesome combination. You can combine the effects. You can have exit and entry animations. You can customize it. You can make these work in code. And you can see the various amounts of different effects, including wiggles, shakes, bounces, dangles. And everything and all this is is a really easy way to implement it with scriptable objects you can drag these on and make your text look awesome so first of all if you want to get this imported and started go to the code at the top right hand corner of the github page and copy the github url then i'm in unity 6 urp this will work in any version and below you can go on to the top left where the little plus is and install git from url then paste in your url there and click install and if i go to the version history you can see that it is installed there now it does bring up an error in this current version of what i've got and if we left it like this we wouldn't be able to do anything because it needs fixing now if we open up this script you can see that it has a problem with this audio resource clip but at the top we need a new namespace called unity engine audio and we can go to samples and we can take a look at the ready to use effects and the demo scene so what we'll do is import the demo and import the ready to use effects and the ready to use effects you can be seen here and these are already scriptable objects that you can use to customize and do the different things really out of the box you can just drag these on and make them work if you go to the demo scene and you go to the text effect demo, do be sure you import the text mesh essentials when that appears. Now we can check out this demo scene when we press play and you can see the uh, cool animation on these text packages and things like that. We can press space to just cycle through these and you can see some of the different scale rotation waves and you can combine them all together and you can see how these have all been implemented with entry and exit tile animations, customization with lots of different effects, and you can add one component and away you go. And of course it is available for free. And you can see if we enable one of these effects and you can see that this has the combination of effects on it. So on this text component, which is a text mesh pro component, you can see that it has a text effect component. And there's a lot of things that it explains because it's been greatly documented and has some really cool editors. So you can see here where you can understand how to control effects with script, apply effects, and you can see that tag effects are effects that can be applied to text based on the rich text tags. And then the global effects are the things that can be applied to every character of the text. As you can see, we've got a list of tag effects and a list of global effects. And then you can create your own by using the types and you've got a bunch of debug buttons. Now you can see that this text here uses a preset and this doesn't inherit from the global set. Now if you click on that, you can create your own preset here and you can see it's built up of loads of different tag effects on the start and it's got loads of different things for gradients, color numbers, rotates and everything. Now we might not want to use the preset so we can untick that and you can see that you can use a rich text to add gradients and links and other styles but Really, what I'm going to do, I've added just some brand new text called my new text, and I've gone on the global effects, is I'm going to just remove the two global effects that are there, and I'm going to add a new one. And you can see element zero, but it's looking for an effect that I want to use. So we've got a bunch or a selection of ones that we can use. So we can use rotate swing. Now, if I just test that out, you can see that we can use the text swing. Now remember, you can actually use other global effects over the top of others. So if we add another one on start and we want to choose another built-in effect that this developer's already created, and we can have another called move wave one. I've just added one called the gradient so we can make text look quite cool when it moves. Then we can have other entry elements where you can select them and have entry move, entry rotate, entry scale, exit color and scale and you've got loads of different options. Now, let's say you did want to create your own. You can right click, choose create, and then choose the easy text effects. So you can create an entire preset panel, or you can create a color, a move, a rotate, a scale, a vertex, a composite. So let's say we wanted to create a color effect. You've got a bunch of settings which you can have, which you can base this on. So you can have this type as ping pong loop and everything like that. You can set the durations, you can set the curve, you can set whether it's a gradient or something like that, whether it's orientation hor horizontal or vertical. Create a brand new gradient there. And you can see that this is just called color. I'm just going to call this speed shooter underscore color. And then I'll be able to use that in the effects that I want to use. So I'll go back onto my effect. And rather than the current gradient that I've got, I'm going to just search for 
speed tutor color. And then when I test that out, you can see the gradient or the vertical gradient that it's created between those two colors. So let's say we want to control these effects separately. You can see that we can navigate to the controlling effects and it's got some methods that we can call to start these manually. Now you saw in our global effects, these run start, we can just set these to manual because I don't actually want these to start until we specify. Then from the documentation, you can start the effects, you can start specific effect names, the tags, or even stop them. In my script, I've just got a reference to the text effect, which will be the text that we want to activate at this time. You could make this a list, but I'm just showing you one example. Then I've got one that's also a string because I might want to activate this separately. So in this regard, I've got the my text dot start manual effects as the method which will start every single effect on that global list when we press the F key. Then the G key, it will stop all manual effects. So it'll stop that happening. And then in my case, in the H key, I use the dot start manual effect without an S and give the effect name as just a string. Now I'll show you how this works for now. I've just created a brand new empty game object. I've made sure that on my global effects, they're all on manual. So they'll only be activated when I press a button. So when I press play here, nothing happens. If I press F, you can see all those global effects start. Now if I hit G, everything stops. And in my case here, when I press H, I've only got one effect which starts, which I specified, which was the H which was a swing type of effect. On my script, which had the text effect name that I wanted to activate, you can see I've given it a name swing. Now, how do you know which one or what name you'll want to use? I wanted to select this swing here. And you can see that if we select it, we can get and find the scriptable object in the project. And you can see that the effect tag is actually called swing. Just like if we went to here and went to our wave one, and I go to wave one, the tag is W1. If you create new script of objects, make sure you give them a tag name so you can use them. Now, if I just update that with W1 and now press H, you can see the wave effect that we have. And of course you can duplicate any of these components or these different effects and adjust the style, adjust the intensity, just the angles, anything that you need to happen, you can make happen. And be aware that there's a full page of documentation that this developer has put together with samples and with information for you to get far more out of it than I can show in this video. So I hope this gave you a basis of looking at this awesome asset. Let me know what you think and be sure to give this developer a follow because they've made some awesome stuff for absolutely free. Do check out the last bits of Unity sale. Do check out the Humble Bundle, which has 12 Unity environments for only $2 each. Big thank you to all my patrons. Special thank you to Peter Steiner, Vera Shuther, Jennifer and David for their amazing support. And for everybody else, thanks for being awesome. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.